Here's the recap of the men's Division One men's tennis NCAA tournament. It's pretty much chalk. Like the number one seed TCU won 4-0 over Drake, but then Utah beat Ole Miss 4-2. But then TCU beat Ole, then TCU beat Utah 4-0. The host side NC State won 4-0 against Liberty. The number 16 seed Middle Tennessee won 4-0 against UNC Wilmington. But NC State come out with the victory of a 4-3 result in a third set. The number 9 seed Wake Forest won against Radford 4-0. Auburn beat Texas Tech 4-1, but Wake Forest won against Auburn 4-1. Northwestern beat Eastern, ET, Eastern Tennessee ETSU. 4-0, Kentucky, number 8 seed Kentucky won 4-0 against DePaul, but then Kentucky won 4-2 against Northwestern. The number 5 seed Michigan defeated Western Michigan 4-0. Oklahoma beat Louisville 4-2, which was a surprise in terms of rankings, but then Michigan men won 4-0 against Oklahoma. Uh, and the number 12 seed Texas won 4-0 against Idaho. But LSU pulled off a little mini upset over over SMU 4-3, but Texas won 4-0 against LSU. But it was interesting to say the least. If you go back and see the st stats of that match, almost everything was a third set. I mean, like the other three courts remaining were third sets. So who knows what would have happened if LSU would have won doubles. The number 13 seed, Southern California, which is USC, the one in Southern California, won 4-0 against Nevada. The number, I meant like San Diego won 4-0 against UC Irvine, but USC won 4-1 against San Diego. The number 4 seed, Ohio State, won against Youngstown State 4-0. Columbia won against Notre Dame 4-2, but Ohio State beat Columbia 4-0. The number two seed, Florida, won against New Orleans 4-0. Miami, Florida, won 4-3 against Southern Florida. But Florida won 4-0 against Miami, Florida. Like number 15 seed, North Carolina, won against Navy 4-1 without the doubles point. Princeton lost to Arizona 4-2 despite winning the doubles point. But number 15 seed, North Carolina, beat Arizona 4-1. Which was a little surprise to me because I thought Arizona could win. Number 10 seed South Carolina won against South Carolina State 4-0. Pepperdine won against Washington 4-0. But South Carolina beat Pepperdine 4-1. Virginia, the number 7 seed, won against Farley Dickerson 4-0. VCU won 4-3 against Penn, but Virginia beat Penn, uh, VCU 4-0. Number 60, Tennessee won against Tennessee Tech 4-0. Duke won against Memphis 4-1, but then Tennessee, despite losing the doubles point, won 4-1 against Duke. The number 11 seed, Georgia, beat Alabama State 4-0, but, but then Florida State beat Georgia State 4-1. And that's, this is one of the bigger upsets. Florida State men beat the 11th seed Georgia 4-3. Yeah. The number 14 seed Harvard beat Monmouth 4-0. Mon Stanford beat Mississippi State 4-0. But then Stanford won 4-3 against Harvard in the third set. But I can tell you that last score for Harvard, he was dealing with cramps or something. He couldn't hardly move in that last game after that second point. He just underhand served twice on those points. The number three seed Baylor beat Abilene Christian 4-0. Texas A&M against Tulsa. Flirted with disaster a little bit, but still won 4-0. And there was some third set, three setters in the match. But Baylor survived against A&M 4-2. They won doubles and they only won one singles match in straight sets. A no took one straight sets match, but they took a three set match. 
but Baylor got two three set wins. So we now know who we're gonna have in the Sweet 16 coming up on May 13th or 14th. May 14th, TCU plays NC State. I could see a scenario where NC State could pull off the upset, but ultimately I think TCU is gonna win. The number nine seed Wake Forest has to play at Kentucky on May 14th at 2 p.m. That's a pick to me. I say it's going to be 4-3, but I think Kentucky survives. May 14th, the number five seed Michigan plays the number 12 seed Texas. Texas. My question about Texas is, are they healthy? Because if they're without any Missouri. I don't see Michigan losing though. It's a could be a popular pick for an upset. Five over, I mean twelve over five or thirteen over four, but I wouldn't count on it. Number number four seed Ohio State plays USC May fourteenth at noon. By the way, the Michigan one is at one p.m. Oh, all the times are Eastern, so noon, eleven a.m. Central time. So far on the times, it's just Eastern. The number four seed, Ohio State, plays the number 13 seed, USC. Ohio State at home is very, very, very difficult to win. And I think USC is just a year away. So I would go with Ohio State, Ohio State versus Michigan in a rematch. The number two seed, Florida versus the number 15 seed, North Carolina, is May 13th at 4 p.m. Central Time. I think North Carolina overachieved this year, so I they could play with nothing to lose, but ultimately, Florida's going to win that match. The number 10 seed, South Carolina, versus the number 7 seed, Virginia, who is hosting this match. The higher seed is hosting. Neither of these two teams played each other this year, but I would go with Virginia. The number six seed, Tennessee, is hosting against Florida State. I think Tennessee got an easier path now because they could have played number 11 seed, Georgia. So I'm thinking Tennessee. But then again, Florida State is going to probably play with nothing to lose. They have not. I mean, they overachieved in the NCAA tournament. The number three seed, I mean, Florida, Tennessee versus Florida State is May 14th at 3 p.m. Central Time. And Virginia versus South Carolina is... May 13, 2 p.m. Central Time. But no, number three seed Baylor is hosting number. I mean, they're not ranked. I mean, they're not a national seed, but the number 18. I don't know about Florida State, but I definitely know about Stanford on their ranking. Number 18, Stanford. I think Baylor will pick it up from the last match, just because I, from what I read, they they know they have to play better down the road. They're going to find a way to win. I don't care whether it's 4-3 or 4-2. I think they somehow protect home court. We'll see what happens, though, because there's this is the NCAA tournament, and things upsets could happen. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Let's give me up to 400 subscribers or more by the end of this year.